Hi everybody, my name is Lydia. And right now, let's just say I'm somewhere I'm not supposed to be. Nobody knows that I'm here, and nobody knows that I got a hold of this camera. But here I am today, ladies and gentlemen, making my very first video on this channel. And hopefully my very last, because after this video, I'm leaving the studio. I did not ask to be brought here, and I do not belong here, because guess what? I don't want to make videos. I do not want to be part of LPS Allison TV, because you know what? I hate LPS Allison TV with every ounce of my being. Always have, always will. And luckily for me, I was gifted to her, so now I'm part of her phony little collection. Well, guess what? I'm not going to deal with this for a second. I'm going to film this video in secret, edit it and post it, and hop out of here. So, enjoy this video, ladies and gentlemen. I hope it convinces you to leave this little rat's channel. Here are 10 things I hate about LPS Allison TV. Number one is that she remakes videos all the time. Like, do you have any other talents? Hey, you guys, it's me, Allison. <laughs> How much you wanna bet she's gonna remake Camp Riverwood again? So today I have an announcement. I am remaking Camp Riverwood. I was just making a joke! Number two is that she's crazy about being diverse. All I'm saying is that it want her to go out there and try some other things as well. Maybe some hippos, owls, bunnies. Instead of just following the crowd and constantly using big fives in videos. Dude, people can use whatever they want. Why does it even bother you? I'm not saying there's anything wrong with collecting big fives. If that's all you like, then that's all you like. But trying other pets that you've never used before could open up so many new doors for you. Try it out. You try it out. Oh wait. Number three, all her videos have rushed conclusions. So that's it? She goes over and puts her name on a paper and that's the end of the video? I mean, really, I guess it's supposed to be funny or whatever because she's cheating or something, but like, seriously, it's so rushed. It all happens in like 30 seconds. That can't be the end of the video. That is so unprofessional. You can't just rush a conclusion like that and do well on the rest of the video. I mean, do bad on the rest of the video. You suck. Number four is that she doesn't accept criticism. Like, that's the only way for you to improve. Hey, sorry, but your videos kind of suck. When are you going to quit LPS Tube? Finally, somebody who's reasonable. Please be respectful next time. As of now, I'm going to have to block you. Oh, not that stupid run-on joke. Let me guess. She disappears. Great. How unexpected. No, please. I worked so hard to get here. You don't understand me. My family is poor. We need bread. All she was doing was telling you the truth. You need to learn how to take criticism, Allison. I mean, if I had to improve myself by jumping off a cliff, I would improve myself by jumping off a cliff. But you're too wuss to do that now, aren't you? Whatever doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Number five, her videos teach bad lessons to the public. Look, Janie, I really can't do this anymore. I can't keep suffering with you, constantly cheating on me and treating me like crap. So I'm going. Megan, you don't understand. My life is so hard. I don't get it. You're such a bad person. Pity me. Aww, <laughs> oh, poor Jeannie. Hopefully she can get Reagan back by her side again. Wait. Wait, wait, what? Oh, that can't be the ending. Are, are you kidding me? There's gotta be a part two. No. No, 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 no. That's impossible. She was crying at the end. The, the, the... Are you kidding me? This has got to be another rushed conclusion, right? Oh, I can't believe the lesson that this conveys to the public. I know that Jeannie cheated on her like five times and tried to kill her whole family, but she was crying at the end and acting all pitiful, so she must be the victim. And yet it conveys the emotion that she's not? What is wrong with Allison? Does she want everybody to die? Oh my dog, I cannot believe this awful video. I'm gonna record it and get it taken down by YouTube because only bots run the site and they do such a bad job at it so they'll just listen to anything. Number six is that she brags, 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 brags all the time. This pet is like a triple exclusive, you guys. It's so amazing. She's so pretty and she's so rare. Now my rarest pet ever and I'm so excited to have her. Okay, yeah, we get it. Rare pet, hallelujah. Who cares? Who cares? It's just a piece of plastic. Oh wait, number seven. She's super petty. You really do just throw shade endlessly, don't you girl? 
No shame whatsoever. I'm gonna make fun of this person in front of everybody on like every single upload I ever make and throw shade all the time. What is wrong with you? Just be mature about it like the 15 year old you are. Not to mention they're not even a bad person. They're just misunderstood. And yet you don't seem to get that. You don't seem to get it through your big skull, Allison. I absolutely hate you so much. I can't handle the studio anymore. This is totally oh dear. Uh, Allison? Number eight is that she always whines about views. It's just kind of demotivating when... When you don't get a hundred thousand views on every video. Yeah, yeah, we get it, you greedy bastard. Number nine is that she constantly gets into drama. Like, nobody cares. Uh, Allison? Oh, what? Uh, hey, Rudy. How are you doing? Look, there's something that I think you should see. I was just minding my own business, walking around the studio, and then I heard somebody talking crap about you in the basement. What? Who? I don't know. I don't really recognize your voice. Hmm. Could be somebody new. Let's go check it out. Yeah, and nobody cares about your stupid petty drama. You're like 15. You need to get over this stuff already. I don't understand how people are so mm. easily brainwashed by this. Yeah, and they're still going. Come on, let's go check it out. Wait. I'm gonna see if I recognize the voice. Okay. It's stupid. It really is stupid. I mean, really, you gotta stop bringing this stuff in a public setting. Keep it to yourself or don't worry about it at all. Hmm. Huh. What is she talking about exactly? I don't know. I just heard her saying bad things about you and came to get you. Was she saying anything specific? Um, basically about how nobody cared about your channel, I guess, and how she didn't care if you weren't getting that many views and she was gonna leave. I don't know. What? She can't leave. Here, let's go ahead and check it out. And number 10, she constantly victimizes herself. Hello? Who's there? Yo, what's the big deal, man? <coughs> oh, Allison. How oh, lovely to see you. Lydia, I want an explanation. Rudy and I both heard you saying some pretty nasty things about me and we don't really appreciate it. Oh, yeah. It's all about you, isn't it? Well, hey, this is a perfect example of her victimizing herself. It always has to be about her. Now, now, that's not what I'm saying. All I'm saying is that this is inappropriate behavior and I want an explanation. Yeah, when did she even victimize herself? Look, I don't have any time for this. You're not worth reasoning with anyways. Lydia, come back. I just want a reasonable answer from you. And what are you gonna do if you don't get that reasonable answer, huh? Kick me out? No, I'm not. That would be too harsh. I just want you to explain this to me. What did I do wrong? Actually, I have a whole list. You wanna see it? Yeah, go ahead, show us the list. Fine, let me just grab it. There you are. I know you're not gonna admit that you're wrong, but hey, you wanted to see the list, didn't you? Lydia, this doesn't make any sense. Yeah, Allison literally does none of this. This just sounds like you, to be honest. Now, Rudy, please be mature about it. Sorry. I love that you still go to the trouble to victimize yourself, even after I know what you've been up to. I know you're not innocent. I bet you're just acting like this for the video. If I stopped recording, you would instantly start yelling at me. Lydia, that is not true. Where are you even getting all of this? Please, let us handle this in a civil manner. Well, stop doing all the things on that list. How can she fix it if she doesn't do it in the first place? There must be a reason for all this. Just tell me, please. Not until you admit that you were wrong. <sighs> all right, how about this? Go through each one of these reasons why you hate me one by one and explain them to each other, all right? <sighs> Fine, gotta make it all complicated. She's literally making this easier for you. Rudy, stay calm, please. Yeah, y yeah, you're, you're right, you're right, sorry. Okay, remaking videos. Have you seen my video about why I remake so many things? Yep, and it was trash, full of excuses. How so? Just the way you talked. The way you talked, the way you manipulated your fans into agreeing with everything that you said. Just all this, oh, I know you guys hate all the decisions I made and how I'm constantly remaking videos and breaking my promises, but you know, here are all the stupid excuses of why you should agree with me and you're wrong if you don't. Hmm, I guess I was very persuasive in that video, but I didn't mean to manipulate anybody. I think it was just me trying to convince my audience that remaking Camp Riverwood wasn't a bad idea. And I was kind of afraid of rejection. Excuses, excuses, excuses. You see this guy's always has to be about her. She's the victim. No, 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 these aren't excuses, they're reasons. 
They're explaining why I did what I did. I'll try to give my audience the chance to form their own opinions next time. Anything else that you hated about me remaking videos? Just the fact that you keep remaking literally everything you ever made. Yes, I'm trying to work on that. I'm trying to remake things that are actually necessary to be remade, and I'm trying to make more original content on my channel. You'll see. Just give us some time, she only recently made the changes. All right, fine. But there is no way that you can justify the second reason. Being too diverse with OPS? Why is that a problem? You're not gonna be like, only big fives matter, are you? Rudy, please wait outside. Okay, sorry, I'm getting too worked up. Look, why should this be a problem? If you wanna like big fives, you can, but- Oh yeah, that's the thing you always say to try to cover up the fact that you're trying to shove your beliefs onto other people. Whoa, okay, okay, we need to backtrack here. I'm not trying to shove beliefs onto other people. I'm just trying to tell them, hey, take the chance to maybe get to know some other OPS too. See what you truly like instead of just following the crowd. I think following the crowd just to be cool or just because they like it so you force yourself to like it too is kind of unhealthy, you know? Well, maybe some people just genuinely like big fives. Is that a crime? No, no, if they genuinely like them, that's perfectly fine. That's more directed towards people who just force themselves to like them just because everybody else does. I don't really care what people use in their videos. <sighs> okay, well, fine, but how about the third one? Okay, you're right about that. I'm not even gonna try to justify myself. I do need to work on better endings for my videos. <laughs> I knew I wasn't completely wrong. Your fourth reason really boggles my mind though. I do take criticism, very often actually. I have seen you openly decline criticism though. I have seen people giving you criticism that you refuse to take. Well, like what? Well, I mean, I can't remember any like right off the top of my head, you know, but you know, I, I've just seen some times where you just don't take the criticism and I don't understand why. Don't you want to improve? You're never going to improve if you don't take people's criticism. Well, maybe I just choose not to take certain criticism due to certain circumstances. Plus, you can improve just fine without criticism. Of course, criticism can be very beneficial for you if you're trying to grow and improve your work. Which is why I do take a lot of the criticism that is given to me throughout the year. Some of it just isn't efficient for me or I just choose not to take and that's alright. <sighs> Okay, fine, fine, move on. Um, teaching bad lessons in my videos? Mm-hmm, all the time, almost every single video of yours. Like your cheater film, where the victim is portrayed as the antagonist. You mean Susie? But she was the antagonist, she cheated, that's not okay. But she was crying, she seemed so sad to have lost her boyfriends. Maybe if you had just given her the chance to improve, then it would have all worked out. Yeah, but it makes sense why the boys don't trust her. Maybe she should work on improving herself as a person before just running off to her exes. Besides, just because somebody acts sad doesn't mean that they're the victim. <sighs> well, I guess that's true. Next one. Bragging, huh? <sighs> you know what, you know what, forget that one. Never mind. I don't think I understood and I think I was very stubborn. You sure? Y yeah, I don't know what I was thinking. I think it was just because, you know, I don't know. It's just, you get really excited when you open LPS and all that. Oh, well, th that's just excitement and I like to update people on the new LPS I get. I know. Let's go to the next one. Great. See, this is working out really good. Yeah, I, I guess so. Okay, being petty and getting into drama, I can definitely see. I should probably work on that. Me throwing shade at other people that I don't like is pretty immature, especially for my age. And if I do end up getting into drama, I'll just keep it in a private discussion with my friends and we could talk about it maturely. That way I don't have to bring it into a public setting. And if I do, I could just talk about it in a mature manner. We can all share our own opinions and be open to others' minds. That sounds a lot better than what you've been doing lately. Yeah, I'll try to work on that from now on. Wine's about views. Yeah, I can't argue with you there. N no, 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 I understand. No, gosh, this is all my fault. You know what? Forget this whole thing, you know? Just, whatever, I, I was wrong, okay? I'm sorry. What? But, but Lydia, this is your own personal opinion. And it's fine to have that opinion, just making a whole video about it is a little bit immature. Kind of like I've been immature about certain people lately. No, no, it's it's fine. Just go about your day. Don't worry about what I said. I'm just, I'm gonna cancel this whole project. I, I was being immature, all right? Look, Lydia, maybe you didn't handle this in the best way possible, but that doesn't mean your opinion isn't valid. I understand a lot of your points and most of them make sense. Gosh, I'm, I'm just embarrassed. I mean, you have so many subs and such a big studio and you're so successful and here I am being all petty about it and wanting to leave. Just because I have a fan base doesn't mean you can't hate me. You don't have to be intimidated just because I have a large following or a large studio or a lot of members on our team. I just feel like a loser. I mean, you're so successful and I'm here hating you and being annoying. Lydia, you're not the only one who hates me and I know that by experience. But 
but but it's just it's just rude. Disliking me isn't rude. It's just the way you handled it in the first place. That's all. In the future, come to me with these issues because I agree with a lot of your points actually, and they make total sense. You chose to be reasonable and talk it out, and that in itself is a really good move on your part. So please don't feel bad. What matters is that you improve yourself in the future. You're not alone on this, but you may be alone on being probably the most mature hater I've ever dealt with. Really? Yeah. A lot of haters don't improve on their actions. Some make entire channels dedicated to hating the person that they do. Oh, man. I don't feel bad for the video. Hey, it's all right. Everybody makes mistakes. You're not alone. Hugs? Oh, I'm not a hugger. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> Just remember, if you have any questions or concerns, you don't have to be afraid to come to me. I will help you, Lydia. And really, I don't know why everyone is so afraid of confronting me about their problems lately. Well, I I'm sure it's not anything you're doing wrong. I mean, y you have everything. You're, you're doing everything really good. You, you handle these things really well. I, I don't know. I mean, well, maybe, maybe you should just ask or make an announcement. That's better. Just remember, I am not a fallen angel from heaven, and I'm also not a horrible person, or at least I try not to be. If anything like this happens again, just come to me and ask, okay? All right. Is this still rolling? Oh, yeah, we, we should totally cancel this. Hang on. Wait, Lydia. I have an idea. Hey you guys, it's me Allison. And me Lydia, except you probably don't even know who I am, never mind. Ahem. <clears throat> I mean, um, hi, I'm Lydia. That's better. Today I'm here to make an announcement. It's okay if you like or hate me, it really doesn't matter. Either way, your opinion is valid. People have different tastes, opinions, beliefs, and preferences. It seems like we're constantly forcing the idea to just be yourself and don't let other people decide your opinions for you, but then we start shaming those who dislike certain people or certain things. Yeah, and I mean, if, if you hate someone, that's okay just as long as you're not mean about it. Maybe like give them criticism to help them like get better or something instead of making fun of them for it or actually point out what they're doing wrong and, and they can get better. Exactly, now you're getting the hang of it. I just want you all to know that I respect to you, even if you don't like me. We don't have to break out into a cold rivalry about it. I think we should be free to express our opinions no matter what they are, as long as we're not super nasty about them. Yeah, and even liking someone too much could be bad, because like, you know, you, you can start liking them so much that you're mean to other people who like them, or you're mean to those who don't like them, and you, you know, just either way, going to the extreme is just bad. And very unhealthy. Remember to form your own opinions on someone, not based on other people's beliefs, but based on your own beliefs. Don't be afraid to have your own opinions about someone or something. And you also should be intimidated by certain factors. So basically just be a good person and don't be scared to have an opinion. Thanks for watching everybody and we'll see you all next time. Bye! Um, 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 bur burritos? What do you say for your outro? In the future, come to me with these issues because really, I